Hi, this is Dr. Rikesh Srivastava. In this video lecture, I will discuss these four concepts. First one is need of quantum mechanics. Second one is photoelectric effect. Third is concept of de Broglie matter waves. And fourth one is wavelength of matter waves in different form. Let us start with the topic need of quantum mechanics. Need of quantum mechanics. There are certain phenomena that can, cannot be explained by using Newtonian mechanics or classical mechanics. For example, black body spectrum, black body spectrum. photoelectric effect compton effect etc to explain or to understand these concept you must know quantum mechanics you have already studied this concept black body radiation in previous classes so only be explained by using quantum mechanics. Photoelectric effect already you studied in previous classes. There you used quantum mechanics to understand this photo photoelectric effect. Now Compton effect is the new concept that we will discuss uh, after uh, some time. So let us start with the topic photoelectric effect. What is photoelectric effect? photoelectric effect. Let us suppose there is some photosensitive material and light is falling on this photosensitive material. So you know that light is made up of small bundles and each bundle having energy h nu that is known as quanta or photon these bundles are known as quanta or photons. When light falls on these photosensitive materials, photon is completely absorbed by these surface electrons. Some energy will be used by the electron to eject from the metal surface that is known as work function or rest it will get as a kinetic energy. This ejected electron is known as photoelectron. This ejected electron is known as photoelectron. Use conservation of energy concept. That is, this H nu photon is falling on the metal surface. Some energy will be used to eject the electron rest it will get as a kinetic energy. Okay. This equation you can simplify this work W is known as work function you can replace this W by H nu naught plus E k is equal plus E k. What is this E k? E k is the kinetic energy of the photoelectron you can write like this half m v max maximum velocity. Now what is this nu naught? Nu naught is known as threshold frequency this nu naught is what threshold frequency you just simplify this relation you will have substitute the value of substitute the value of e k you will get this relation Okay. This is known as Einstein photoelectric equation. What is this W work function? How to define this term W? W is the minimum energy required to eject an electron from metal surface. What is W? W is the minimum energy required to eject an electron from metal surface. Now what is this nu 0? Nu 0 is the threshold frequency 
also known as daily frequency it is defined as the minimum frequency required to eject an electron from metal surface okay this equation is very important and einstein got the nobel prize for, for the discovery of photo let, let me explain effect of intensity and energy of incident photon incident photon on photo current okay the current because of these photo electron is known as photo current so what will be the effect of uh, intensity on this uh, the uh, photo current so what we will do let's just look here what is the intensity first let us try to understand the meaning of intensity so let's suppose this is the surface of the metal and some light is falling on this metal surface okay i if, if and this single photon is falling what will happen this photon is completely absorbed by the electron and this electron is ejected from the metal surface now it let's suppose the number of photons falling in the unit area i have increased let's suppose you are increasing the number of photons falling in a unit area now let's suppose two photon falling in this unit area what will happen now you will have two electron now let's suppose in the unit area now falling three photon so you will get three electron okay now number of elect photo electrons are increasing if you are increasing the intensity if number of photo electrons are increasing this means that this means that photo current will also increase so if you are increasing the intensity of the uh, incident light photo current will increase what will effect on photo current photo current will increase okay now just uh, just look this another point what is the effect of energy of the incident photon now i am increasing the energy of the incident photon but because of that energy only we will get photo electron having more energy number of electron will not increase because of increasing energy okay so what will happen photo it will not affect on photo current photo current will remain, there is no effect on photo current no effect on photo current if you increase the energy of the incident photon okay there may be mcq question based on this concept what will be the effect of intensity on photo current uh, what will be the effect of energy on photo current this concept is important so let us discuss the third concept what is third concept that is the de broglie concept the so de broglie let us start the de broglie concept de broglie concept what is de broglie concept according to de broglie if a particle is moving let's suppose mass of the particle is m and it is moving with some velocity v so according to de broglie a moving particle will behave like a wave and the wavelength associated with the particle is given by lambda is equal to h upon p okay this what is this p p is known as momentum of the particle or you can write m into v m is the mass of the particle which is the velocity h is planck constant okay so you just look this equation very important equation here you can see that lambda is the property of the wave and p is the property of the particle so we are getting here dual nature basically dual nature means wave nature as well as particle nature in a single single equation dual nature dual nature of matter okay now if you are if your particle is non relativistic particle then momentum you can use p is equal to mu but if your particle is moving non relativistic means the particle velocity is uh, less than particle velocity is less than less than c very small as compared to speed of light now suppose that your particle velocity is approximately equal to or less than c so this is the case of relativistic case in this case momentum of the particle is given by p is equal to gamma 
एम वी वट इज दिस गामा गामा इज नोन एज रिलेटिविस्टिक फैक्टर दैट इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन माइनस वी स्क्वायर बाई सी स्क्वायर दिस इज नोन एज रिलेटिविस्टिक फैक्टर ओके तो वट इज द डी ब्रोगली रिलेशन फॉर रिलेटिविस्टिक पार्टिकल डी ब्रोगली रिलेशन यू कैन राइट लैमडा इज इक्वल टू एच अपॉन गामा एम वी ओके दिस इज फॉर रिलेटिविस्टिक पार्ट रिलेटिविस्टिक पार्टिकल नाउ जस्ट लुक वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इन दिस इक्वेशन जस्ट लुक दिस इक्वेशन लैमडा इज इक्वल टू लैमडा इज इक्वल टू एच अपॉन पी नाउ सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ मोमेंटम हेयर दिस वैल्यू आई एम टेकिंग नॉन रिलेटिविस्टिक पार्टिकल तो वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ मोमेंटम फॉर नॉन रिलेटिविस्टिक पार्टिकल पी इज इक्वल टू एम इन टू वी जस्ट लुक हेयर लैमडा इज इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल टू मास जस्ट लुक हेयर लैमडा इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल टू मास मीन्स इफ मास इज वेरी हाई तो लैमडा विल बी वेरी वेरी नाउ इफ इज लैमडा इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल इफ मास इज वेरी हाई तो लैमडा विल बी वेरी वेरी स्मॉल तो वट विल हैपन तो वेव नेचर कैन नॉट बी डिटेक्टेड इफ मास ऑफ द पार्टिकल इज वेरी हाई तो वेव नेचर ऑफ द पार्टिकल विल इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू डिटेक्ट वेव नेचर ऑफ द पार्टिकल तो तो इफ मास इज स्मॉल तो लैमडा विल बी लार्ज लैमडा विल बी लार्ज लार्ज तो वेव नेचर कैन बी डिटेक्टेड इजली दिस इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू राइट डिफरेंट फॉर्म ऑफ दिस वेव लेंथ डी ब्लॉगली वेव लेंथ तो जस्ट लुक हेयर वट आर डिफरेंट फॉर्म different form of de broglie wavelength okay so one relation already i told you lambda is equal to h upon p what is this p p is equal to m into v another relation is that there is a relation between its kinetic energy and momentum what is energy kinetic energy kinetic energy of the particle is given by p square by 2 p square by 2m this you already know i think from your previous knowledge previous class so what is this momentum now momentum you can express like this 2 m ek so now what will be the form of lambda in terms of kinetic energy h upon square root of 2 m ek okay you can also express this relation in terms of potential difference so what is this kinetic energy kinetic energy you can write if i am taking uh, uh, electron what is this uh, yeah just take any charged particle so this you can write q into v okay so what is the form of this uh, kinet, uh, this lambda now this is will be equal to h upon square root of 2m q v okay kinetic energy can also express like this q into v now you can also express this kinetic energy equal to as approximately equal to kt room temperature energy thermal energy this kinetic energy you can also write approximately equal to k into t what is this k k is the boltzmann constant t absolute temperature t absolute temperature temperature in kelvin now what is the form of this lambda so lambda you can write like this that is h upon square root of uh, 2 m k t just i have substituted the value here so these are different form of the uh, de broglie wavelength okay so what we discuss today we discuss four concept today need of quantum mechanics so what is the need of quantum mechanics so i told you there certain phenomena some phenomena for example black body radiation spectrum photoelectric compton effect uh, compton effect spectra that cannot be explained by classical mechanics that's why we need some different kind of physics known as quantum mechanics then we uh, then i told you about uh, photoelectric effect what is photoelectric effect when light falls on some positive photosensitive material electron will be ejected from the metal surface okay this phenomena is known as photoelectric effect i told you the reason also when light falls on the metal surface actually light is made up of small bundle light is made up of bundles 
bundles, energy bundles. Each bundle having energy h nu, and this bundle are known as quantas or photons. So when this photon strike on the electron, they will transfer all of its energy to electron. So some energy will be used by the electron to eject the from the metal surface, uh, and rest it will get as a kinetic energy. Okay. So you can use conservation of energy principle, and you can write the equation as that uh, that you you can get that uh, Einstein photoelectric equation. After that, we discuss de Broglie concept. Lambda is equal to h upon p. Then I have written different form of de Broglie wavelength. In the next video lecture, I am going to discuss concept of Heisenberg uncertainty principle and phase and group velocity. Thank you for watching this video.